Trout TV is produced by SunWest Productions in association with Outside Media. And now from the Glacier Anglers Fly Shop at West Glacier, Montana, here's the host of Trout TV, Hillary Hutchison. Hi, I'm Hillary Hutchison. Thanks for joining us for Trout TV. On today's show, we hit the city. It's an urban fishing trip on the Spokane River in beautiful downtown Spokane, Washington. We'll be throwing nymphs and dry flies on this one. And coming up later on in the show on Meet the Pest, guide, expert outfitter, and fly specialist Tim Wade talks about which flies he loves to throw during the heat of the summer. That's all coming up right now on Trout TV. Trout TV is brought to you by Carhartt. Easy to break in, hard to wear out. Montana Fly Company. Fish Obsessed. Glacier Anglers, your Orvis endorsed fly fishing link to the Northern Rockies. Dry Fly Distilling, handcrafted spirits from the Pacific Northwest. This week on Trout TV, we go downtown. Downtown in Spokane, Washington, to float the Spokane River for Red Band Rainbow Trout. Our guide on this trip is Sean Visentan. Sean operates the Silver Bowl Fly Shop in the Spokane Valley. We started guiding on the Spokane River a few years ago. We've guided other areas but realized we had a great fishery right in our backyard. We knew the bank access was tough um, and, and limited. Um, and we know floating obviously opens up a whole new world. There's not a lot of stretches to float, but uh, when you float it, um, you can really fish just about everything. Trout TV goes urban. I can see my hotel from here. <laughs> you actually almost <laughs> <There's> can. <laughs> essentially like, you know, a few hundred yards from the hotel and here we are putting in and fishing. It's incredible. Yeah, I think it took a whole 60 seconds to get down here from the hotel. Yeah. And there's trout. And there's trout. Big trout. And who knew? <laughs> it's awesome. It's such a great opportunity for people, I feel like, who are even just coming through this area. They have the big interstate and, you know, people need to slow down and maybe Yeah, it gets, it gets overlooked. I mean, we even overlooked it for a long time, traveling further and further to destinations, and there was a good one right in our backyard. Run down here, and then we'll come back, and then uh, actually, yeah, run it, run it right through there. We'll run this edge, then we'll come back in and we'll okay. fish that pocket. I just want to go down here for a little bit. Sometimes they really key in on the movement on this river. Um, you don't always have to have a perfect dead drift. Strip, 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 strip. Gotta stop coming to the boat. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is this a fish? What do you got? Yeah, it's a fish. It's moving. <laughs> That's not a rock. It's not a moving rock. <laughs> I'm like, right. okay, fish. Cool. He's fighting good. Yeah. Little rainbow, I think. Yeah. Not a monster, but it's a good start. Nice. Good job. Well, I gotta say, after staring at that bobber, I wasn't totally wasn't totally keyed in on that one. It's good water. It's all good water. Yeah, sure. There you go nice chunky little rainbow. Let's uh, we'll get them in the net and pull over here. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. All right. Good. Good start to the morning for sure. Yeah, we got a nice little rainbow trout here hooked up on that nymph. We're about ready to motor across the river, but. Uh, Lo and behold, we got a nice little rainbow. Yeah. Looks nice. Yeah, nice and healthy. Yeah, good looking fish. Yeah, for fought, sure. Fought pretty hard for its size. I know, I know. I thought I was hung up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little stronger than his, yeah. uh, than his size. Yeah, exactly. Leads you to believe. Well, let's go ahead and get him released here and back yeah. to his home. Super. Woo! Perfect little splash. Wow. Yeah, it's like, take that. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> cool. Sweet. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, <laughs> thanks to the fish.
The aspects that I like about fishing the Spokane River is that, you know, you can, you're right in downtown Spokane or, or anywhere in Spokane and, and you get down in the river and you actually kind of forget where you're at. It's, um, it's actually a really beautiful uh, river. You can put this river in central Washington or western Montana um, and you wouldn't know the difference once you're down in it. Yep. <laughs> Good. That's more of a. That was a pretty classic run right there too. It was a good spot. That's a classic Spokane fish right there. Really? That's what we're looking for. Great. Yeah. Not these little dudes. Right. <laughs> see I'm how he, see it. how hard he crushed it? Yeah, he really did. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. If you can get him on the reel, I mean, he's okay. not the biggest fish, but he's still solid. But they surge like that. They all just start ripping some line. Okay. Okay. I'm I want on to the reel. That fish I saw rise over there. That's why we slipped over into that current and saw a uh -oh. fish. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, see, nice, remember nice. when I tightened down that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good solid fish. Cool. He's on Actually, that. he's already heads up if you want to yep, go ahead. Let's get him. There we go. Nice. Cool. Sweet. Good solid fish. Yeah. Let's go take him to shore here and okay. get him released. Well, that's good. Little, Came at the right time. Yeah. <laughs> Size is a little better on this one. Yeah. You jack that fly pretty hard. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it, it caught you off guard. It really caught me off you guard. You were not expecting no, that. No, I was chilling out a little bit for sure. Yeah, you were kind of zoning out. We were yeah. talking and then he just crushed yeah, it. Yeah, it was cool. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. That's a good salt yeah. fish. That's a good average Spokane fish right there. Cool. Let's get it back in the water. Yeah. The uh, water seems pretty cool. Uh, fish is really healthy, but this time of year I start to worry that. Yeah, wow, oh yeah, he's perfect. Great. There he goes. Nice. Woo! Nice. Fish on! Ooh, big rainbow actually. Great. Very I'm cool. I'm get him on the reel there in case he runs on you. You do want me to get him on the reel? Okay. Yeah, just in case. Cool. Good. <laughs> Good. Finally. Thank you, Sensei. Yeah. Good. Wow, Thanks heads up already, eh? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Awesome. Good. So I'm going to take That's him a in. Pretty fish. Yeah, we'll take sure. him in here. Okay. Hey, I like how excited you get. When you say, <laughs> we get a fish, you go good. Good. <laughs> it's all business. It is, this is a really good fish, boat. though. That is a pretty solid fish. Light colored fish. Usually they're a little darker, but that's oh. a. It's kind of a nice bright rainbow for the Spokane. Yeah. All right. Good I like it. Fish. I know. We're kind of getting to the end of our run here, and wasn't sure if we'd catch another one, but that one makes me happy. It's a good looking rainbow. Let's mm -hmm. get it back in the water. A lot of spots on them. Really nice. Oh, oh, there he goes. Cool. That was fun. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Spokane fish. You're very official. Oh. You catch a fish, and he's like, oh, good. Goodness. Good. And then it's time to like chest bumps and everything, <laughs> and you just say, congratulations. Yeah. Well, you did, you did good. Thanks. You did good. <laughs>Meet the Pest is brought to you by the Montana Fly Company, manufacturers of high quality flies, tying accessories, and fishing gear. And now, from the North Fork Angler's Fly Shop in Cody, Wyoming, here's outfitter and fly tying specialist, Tim Wade. Hi, this week on Meet the Pest, we're gonna be fishing the Spokane River, literally, in downtown Spokane, Washington. Now, you may not know this, but a lot of the western or the eastern parts of Washington, Oregon, and California have a, 
an ancient uh, rainbow population called Red Bands and uh, also the Kootenai and some other rivers real close to the Spokane. So when you're fishing these, these are kind of a unique species. Uh, you can take them with nymphs or dries and uh, some of my favorite patterns up there are or a bearish knuckle dragger, that's a bead headed nymph. I, I love the name of this because it does look like a knuckle dragger. And then another fly that we like to use over there uh, is a, really nothing but a foam hopper, uh, but it's called a more or less hopper. And in a peach color, it works pretty well for red bands and cutthroats uh, all over the west, particularly eastern side of the state where it's hot and arid. There you go, just go ahead and drop it right in there. Kind of high stick it. Quick drift stuff, kind of rapid fire fishing, but let it hang. The Spokane River is a good fishery, but it's it's not necessarily the easiest river to fish. Uh, and there's a lot of brush along the banks, which can make casting pretty tight, uh, and access is um, limited in some areas. Um, and for boat use, it is a little tricky. Right there, right oh, there. Oh, sweet! Yep. Look at that. That's awesome. That's uh, a big fish. Oh man, don't swim at me. No, no, we're gonna go. Real, 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 real. There you go. I don't like it when they do that. Okay, just let, let him run, let him run, he's gonna run. Woo, nice. Cool. Big fish. Nice, okay. That's what this river has, this river has some hawks. Oh, look at there. that. There, <laughs> wants to play. That's what we wanted. Oh yeah. All right, easy, just keep that rod tip from pumping. That's a big slab right there. Okay. Oh, nice, look at that. Toad. Look at that fish. Cool. Sweet. It's a good fish, big fish today. Kind of our fish of the day, I would yeah, say. Yeah, look at this slab. Nice salt fish. Chomp that yeah. rubber leg pattern. Yeah. Good looking, good looking fish. Really nice. You ready power. to go? Later, skater. Disappears. Cool. Awesome. That was fun. Beginning to end. Okay, we're gonna take this one for a ride. Okay. <laughs> it's a long, hard strip from below. This will be a tricky one. <laughs> Not a good spot to land them here. That's good. I mean, I'm all in that spot. Nice job. Do you think you can sweep them in? I'll, I'll okay. net them. Yeah, maybe. Ready? Yep. Oh, there we go. Good. So, you're pretty sure this is a native red band? Yeah, this looks like a native red band. He's got a nice deep red uh, kind of band to him. He's got some par markings, uh, which seems to be uh, part of the red band characteristics. Cool. Really pretty fish. Yeah. Ancestors of the steelhead that used to be in here. Nice. They're hard fighting. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and let this guy go. Sounds good. See you, buddy. There we Woo. go. Cool. Sweet. Good job. Nice one. That was all you. <laughs> yeah, nice rowing. <laughs> I just point and say cast there. Go there. <laughs> go there. He's so mean. We're gonna do a little change up of flies here. Um, mix it up a little, see okay. what uh, see what the trout want. This is a uh, Anderson bird of prey, little caddis pupa. We have a lot of caddis pupa on the river. Nice. Good looking, kind of a soft tackle, kind of caddis pupa, little flash. So that Anderson's was the dropper. What are you using for your top bug? The main bug on the Spokane that we like is actually our, our favorite is that flexi girdle bug. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of stone flies on the river, but it's a great kind of searching pattern, and they like yeah. the uh, the movement of the rubber legs. Yeah, that's a really nice Montana fly yeah. pattern. Cool. Hence the twitching of right. the flies. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that really works well for that tweaker twitch you taught me. <laughs> that's right. Cool. There you go. Sit, sit, sit. Nice. <laughs> that was okay. awesome. Wow. That got, that was popped. Yep. Okay. Okay, Good. I Long want hard. this in my yep. reel. Yep, yep. Keep them tight, keep them tight. We'll get them out of this heavy current. 
That was great. He slammed that Shacked thing. Jacked me. <laughs> uh. There we go. Doing good. Good job. Wow, good that fight. was crazy. Oh, that, that thing just freight trained it. To that's Welcome what I was waiting to, for. You could, yeah. That's what I told you. Yeah, he would hit it extremely that hard. That was ridiculous.